Hello guys, so welcome back to another video in, in our series of latex hacks. So today we're gonna discuss how to change the margins or how to control how to control a, a margin in your uh, latex document. Like for example, this distance or this margin, the left margin, the right margin, uh, the top margin, and also the bottom margin after the page number here. Okay. So uh, there are you know uh, two ways to do that based on your inputs, based on your givens, based on your specifications. So for example, you might want, you know, the, the text itself to have a certain width and certain height. And I mean by this, uh, as the width from, you know, the start of the text to the end of the text here, you might have certain widths for that and a certain height for your text or your page or the text in your page. From here, the introduction, let me go, yeah, from the introduction here to the end, to this page number, certain height. And if you if you know your, your, your requirement on this, this, then there is a way to do that. Most of the time though, uh, what's, what's a given is uh, the margins itself, like how much space, white space in here, or here on the uh, right, or here in the bottom, or at the top. Okay. So, if you if this is an input, or if you know this, then there is a, there is another way to do that. So we're gonna explore both ways now. The first one, if you know what your text should look like. Okay, it's the width of the text, the height of the text. I mean by the width, the distance again from this point to this point, okay? And for this, we're gonna use the package called the geometry, and it has some certain inputs. For example, the size of the whole page, and in this case, it's A4 page. This can be changed to a letter, for example, or A3, whatever. And then the width, which is six inches here, the text and the height of the text. So in our case now, the, this width is six inches and the height of the text from this line introduction, the title of the section to the page number is eight. Let's change that. Let's make them, let's, for example, change the first the width. Let's make it 10. So we're gonna increase the weights of the text and see guys you know it exceeds is <laughs> basically the size of the a4 baby the weights of the a4 baby let's make it eight so we can of course now it's clear but let's have multiple examples so here is eight let's let's squeeze it let's make it you know less than six the original size like like four for example and look Let's now increase the height, let's make it 10. So we expect now uh, to decrease this margin and also decrease this margin after the page number. And look now, it really uh, decreased. Let's squeeze it, let's make it four. It will be very small. And look, so you have huge white spaces. Okay, let's return back to the default for our first case, six inches and eight inches. And there it is. Now, this is if you, you know, you have the specification for the text that you wanna write, but in the default, or I'm sorry, in the normal case, or usually, you know, the, uh, the distance itself, the margins itself, the margins specification, like for example, one inch here and one inch here, whatever, one inch here and another one inch here, whatever it's given for you, then this is the next, you know, so we're gonna comment, this is a sign for the comment, and here is the second, you know, way to do it, in which again, we define using the same uh, package geometry, uh, defining the same page, you can change also the page itself. That's that's fine, based on your specifications. Now, here you define the left margin width. So 
we are saying here is this should be one inch. Here we define the right margin width, and we say here it's also one inch. So we we need here one inch. The bottom one inch. After the page number, we need one inch, and the top again one inch before this page title. So let's compile this. And here it is. It, it's a change it. And one inch is around 2.53 centimeters, or you can say 23 millimeters. And this is really, you know, 2.5 something. Okay, let's let's squeeze it or let's decrease it. Let's make it two inches or three inches. So we're gonna squeeze once you increase the margin, you're gonna squeeze the text. No. And let's make it bigger. Let's say half an inch. You can do, you know, fractions here, like 2.5, 2, 2, 2, inches, which is maybe less than one centimeter, half a centimeter or something, which is very small. And let's see. Yes. So, and now because uh, the text itself can be squeezed into one page, you know, we don't need page numbering. So the one, this is from latex. So the one has disappeared because all the text now is in the same page. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video, bye-bye.